such a missed opportunity. A day was about to elapse since training began. Very good, you two. You've more or less perfected it. I think it might be time to see if you can actually pull it off. Like, they have to do that embarrassing dance in front of literally everyone they know in their whole lives. Alright. First, match each other's energy. Uh, okay. Good. Now begin. Is this going to be a minigame or just watch? They could totally make this into a minigame. Countdown to Calamity. They didn't do any of the joke fusions out there. This key is overwhelming! They did it! They finally fused! Good! You did it at least this time! In at least 30 minutes, we'll have you try it again as Super Saiyans. <laughs> Don't you think you're underestimating me? I've got what it takes to beat Majin Buu right now! You don't know the first thing about how strong Majin Buu is. There's absolutely no way you can beat him. Not just yet, anyway. So can we trust a little punk like this? I've always liked his hair. The, the, the choice of design for the two-tone hair was really good. In just one single day, the feared Majin Buu easily laid waste to roughly 80% of the planet's population. And then he proceeded to learn to disco on top of that After structure. After turning some of his victims into clay, he constructed a house to come back to after his daily destruction. That house is made of people. The people of Earth continued their fight for survival against the Majin Menace and deployed their military forces. But that ultimately proved futile, with each force being completely decimated. Soon thereafter, humanity stopped trying. But hope was not completely lost among those remaining. They knew their savior was still alive somewhere and ready to spring into action. The man who overpowered Cell and became the world's, no, the universe's greatest warrior. That savior is none other than the legendary undefeated warrior, world martial arts champion, Mr. Satan. And hilariously, he actually in some capacity, does so that's defeat Majin, Majin Buu. Buu's house, huh? Well, uh, I wonder if he's home. Do you get to play as Mr. Satan? Uh, I hope he isn't. Oh, oh he's not here. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Mozzie Boo? You chicken? Well, uh, well that's that then. Uh, he's not here, uh, so I can't fight him. Uh, time to head back now. If he wasn't so self inflating, he might have actually gotten away. Hi! <laughs> Hello, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Hmm, why'd they turn you into this time? Wait, wait, wait a second, uh, uh, Mr. Mazian Boo. You see, uh, I've come to see if there's anything I could do for you. <laughs> you want to be Boo's servant? Uh, yeah, of course I do. I've actually uh, uh, brought you a present, Mr. Mazian Boo. 
Here, it's some premium chocolate. The train is a campfire over there. It means it's a very expensive and super delicious. Hmm? Please work. <laughs> he ate it. He actually ate it. <laughs> what an idiot. I put enough poison in that chocolate to kill an elephant. I mean, he, he doesn't have a bloodstream, so he shouldn't be affected by poison. Who made you servant? What? Oh, well, thank you very much. Why, you? Don't get too cocky, fatso. I'm gonna pound you into big putty for this. And so began a strange friendship between Majin Buu and Mr. Satan with Mr. Satan working tirelessly to keep Majin Buu's mood under control. Mr. Satan's like Majin Buu's Several therapy pet. Later. Well, welcome back. I'm still in the middle of preparing our meal. Hey, uh, wh what's that dog doing here? This guy knows Speak dog, but it looks like his legs in real bad shape. That's why he didn't run away. Huh? Really? Well, okay. Who heal you now? Then get scared and run away. Uh. Now run away. Huh? Why he no run away? Who heal him? Oh, well, see now he loves you. <laughs> Well, look at that. He's just happy that you made him feel better. I think he likes you now, Mr. Boo. Like Boo? He like Boo? That's right. He likes you. Huh? He like you? You like Boo? Huh? Well, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Boo kind of happy. Well, uh, he, he, he actually does seem happy. Um, uh, <laughs> Mr. Boo, sir, uh, may I ask you something? Well, uh, why are you uh, killing people and, uh, and destroying their homes? That's a big question. And Bobbity told Boo to do that! And, uh, who are they again? You know, they're a boo. Uh, you shouldn't listen to bad guys like them. Also, he understands that they're bad you guys. See, uh, it's not good to, to kill people and break things. You think Boo should not do that? Well, uh, yeah, but, uh, yes. Okay, Boo, stop! Huh? You, uh, won't kill people anymore? Yeah. And no more destruction? I did it! I actually did it! I really am a hero, aren't I? This is it, boss! This has got to be Ma Majin Buu's house! What the hell are you shaking for? I told you, this is gonna be a piece of cake! After all, we've killed a whole bunch of people. What's one more? Well, yeah, but this guy's a margin. Listen up. Boo's killed so many people around the world that people will think anyone we've killed was killed by him. Let's do this! I mean, it's, it's good logic, but at the same time, the worst possible moment. 
Why do you think Mr. Satan is hanging out with Martin Boo like that? <laughs> Who gives a crap? We'll just kill them both. Then we'll be the heroes. <laughs> Mr. Satan! I thought it was a dog that got smoked. Damn it! We miss Boo! I was sure it was a dog that got smoked. I like how he didn't actually take the dog after being told explicitly to take the dog. What's going on? Unable to be contained any longer, the evil within Majin Buu came bellowing out and formed into another Majin Buu. The one singular Majin Buu now stood divided split between his innocent side and his evil side. Rendered weaker from the split, the original Majin Buu stood no chance against his evil counterpart and was ultimately absorbed by him. Did they forget to put the texture on that? It just looked really assy. I also don't understand how this version is more powerful than the original, since it's literally just the evil side with the power of the original. The only thing that really changed was like his alignment. It is a more powerful form though. Ten and Trunks entered the final stages of their fusion training, Piccolo and Dende kept a watchful eye over Majin Buu and Mr. Satan. Unbelievable! Hey, uh, what's going on, Piccolo? What's going on, Piccolo? Only the worst possible thing Don't that could possibly happen. In Majin Buu's <laughs> energy? That monster's changed. It's all because of that brain-dead Earthling. Now Boo's pure evil, not to mention even stronger than before. <gasps> no, we aren't safe here. 
Majin Buu now has the power to sense our energies. Well, that kind of sucks for you now, doesn't it? Yamcha is so ready. There's nothing he can possibly do, but he's so ready. to show you why is mr popo scared he's probably the greatest mucker in the whole universe but only when standing on the lookout show me the guy to fight you promised me a fight he must be here i could feel a very large power uh, we do have people here to fight you but they're sleeping right now they're gearing up for their fight with you Wake them up! I hate waiting! Damn it. We're out of options. We have to sacrifice the remaining survivors. Wish them back with the Dragon Balls. It's the only way we can stall Majin Buu. Th that's right. You did say you were going to kill everyone on Earth, right? There are still plenty of people left to kill. Take care of them first. Then you can fight. Hmm. Oh, no! It's really cool looking though. Killed everyone on her. Now I can fight. Show me the guys to fight. Fine. I'll show you. But you're going to have to wait. They've been sleeping, and they need to get ready. No. Mr. Satan's daughter here wants you to wait as well. <laughs> Really? You're right. She smells like Satan. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. She smells like Satan. That needs to be on t shirt. She smells like Satan. Okay, I'll wait. But only a little. Go wake up Trunks and Goten and get them into the hyperbolic time chamber, now! Might not be much, but they could still get a few days of training in. Uh, right. Alright, cutscene, training sequence, or right to the fight. Piccolo was able to buy Goten and Trunks time to train, but Majin Buu's patience was finally wearing thin. Piccolo had no choice but to escort the irritated Majin Buu to the hyperbolic time chamber. Here it is. You took a long time getting here! Hopefully I stalled him long enough. One minute out here is six hours in there. He says, while standing, in there. They should have been able to get a week's training done. Hopefully. Ta-da! Boom! We've been waiting for ya! ya. Imagine, Bill! Mm -hmm. Is that them? Yes! Please. Let this work. Right now, we need a miracle. Let's do it! Okay! Fusion! Ha! Hmm? 
I guess the power level was over 9,000. Fusing. But wait, there's more. All right. The good at fighting, the bad at cooking. They're pretty good at training. Trunks, is, of course, is better with tech. Goten's closer to being a god, though. Overall, pretty decent. I was able to actually miss a bunch of those. Absolutely slapped him. Oh, hey! You all right? You got any more powerful attacks? <laughs> you bet I do. You just wait. But I kind of want to scare Piccolo a bit. That'd be more exciting. I it's no use! I don't have enough energy to pull off any more of my awesome moves. It's all over now. This world is as good as gone. <laughs> what? And then he it's just the middle fingers everyone. You, Majin Buu. Because I just completely destroyed the only thing connecting this place to the world outside of it. All of us are now trapped in here for the rest of our lives. What? <clears throat> the only thing you can do is kill us and spend an eternity all by yourself. In this vast and empty space. Why? What about my... <clears throat> favorite sweets? Priorities. No sweets here. None. What gives, Piccolo? Why didn't you tell me you were gonna do that? I was planning on using my super awesome move and stuff. Well, hey! You said you didn't have any of your power left. I was acting, you know, to make things a little more dramatic. Idiot! <laughs> Why make things more dramatic at a time like this? Hurry up and fix the entrance, you stupid green party pooper! I can't fix it! You cocky little spoiled brat! I hate this place! Huh? Piccolo, what's that? 
He has literally shouted a big middle finger through time and space. How did he? He used his massive energy to rip a hole between dimensions. No! It's gone. What was that noise just now? Lucky! Oh. Majin Blue! This is perfect! I was just getting hungry! What should I turn you into? I know chocolate! I mean, chocolate is literally the only thing you ever eat. Up until this point in the story. I'm pretty sure it's only been chocolate so far. He turned to bore into a cookie though, right? I'm a cookie. It's no use. We can't even open a tiny hole. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna have to use it after all. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Take a guess. Ta-da! A little shit ball. When? How? What did you just do? <laughs> Pulls Super Saiyan 3 over his arsehole. Beats the hell out of me! But I do know I'm super duper strong now! Anyway, we got more important things to do now, right? Hurry! Us. The hole's gonna close! <gasps> yo, yo, yo! Majin Buu! Look who's back and ready to party! Huh? You look different! Says the guy who transformed. It's not just my looks that are different. I'm also way, 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 way stronger than before. You tell me what you did to everyone here right now. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> They're here. <gasps> They're like you the last them? three people left on Earth now. Turn them into chocolate. Except for, I think I Mr. Satan also was not killed. Yeah. Yeah. So, four living things in the entire planet. Maybe the dog survived too. Here comes the pain. I can't remember. We're just gonna lay the slap on him. That's what we do. Well, they didn't give me any energy, so that kind of sucks. Oh, they did change the ghosts for Super Saiyan 3. So Galactic Donuts is actually really good. You're going down. Way down. Well, unless it misses, in which case it's absolute garbage. Nice. That's a big Kamehameha. We regain energy so quickly in this form. Oh, 
Uh, it's still my favorite move in my entire arsenal. Not worth as much experience as Fat Boo versus Goku was, though. Show your face! I can only stay this amazingly strong for a limited time, you know. You're gonna have to wait an hour to see this awesome hair again. Huh. Interesting. He's getting weaker. Maybe not physically. I wonder if he's suffering. They would actually win the battle of attrition if he waited the hour for them to be able to fuse again. And just kept fighting and fighting. <laughs> Say goodbye. You are not gonna be able to come back after this. I'm gonna vaporize every last bit of you. That's what Vegeta tried. Oh, looks like he's gonna have an accident. I do wish the story recaps would be more current. It's like there's one recap for the entire chapter, no matter what happens. Meanwhile, in the land of the Kais, Gohan continued to undergo the ritual to unleash even more of his latent power. Even the old Supreme Kai is tired. Goku and the others kept their eyes glued to Elder Kai's crystal ball as they followed Gotenks' battle with Majin Buu. Uh, no way! They're back to normal now! Hey! Can you pick up the pace, Gramps? I don't know about you, but the kids are running out of power over here. Are you serious, Dad? Yeah, at this rate, they're goners. All right, off you go. I actually finished about five minutes ago. You're finished? Five minutes? Why didn't you tell me sooner? You fool! Sending you off when the situation is dire is much more dramatic. <laughs> it's all about the drama. Oh no. I'd better hurry or I'm not gonna make it. Okay, so how am I supposed to become this ultimate warrior? What do you mean? You turn into that super whatever all the time. It's like that. Just fire yourself up and you'll see. It's like turning into a Super Saiyan, huh? Uh, okay. But better. This is incredible. So in the pose he is in, looked like he is just firing out a nuki dookie. Yeah. It really is incredible. To Earth, before things go so far that they can't be undone. Allow me to send our new hero to his destination. Sorry I can't join you, Gohan. I wish I could. I gotta stay here. I wish for a lot of things. I wish I could have seen you grow up. Dad! This is probably the last time I'll see you, Gohan. At least until you die. How wrong he is. Good luck, son. Show Majin Buu what you can do. I will. Like, Goku is so powerful, he could probably just literally yeet the halo from his head and become alive again, undeathing himself. <laughs> 